This video will explain Kirchhoff's first rule of his two rules that he uses for circuit analysis. This little animation illustrates the first rule. I've got a charge moving in from the left to the right into the junction. That's a current when the charges move. And then it splits. There's a little piece going up and a little piece, a little piece of current going down to the right. Kirchhoff's first rule says the sum of the currents going into the junction equals the sum of the currents going out of the junction. Mathematically, we write that as summation I in equals summation I out. That's at the junction. You need to be careful when analyzing bigger circuits because they will have lots of junctions. And at some point, these currents will split apart. And somewhere else in the circuit, you're going to have them come back together. So it's possible when analyzing these and using junctions for your equations, you could have the same equation twice, just one with negatives and one with positives. Keep that in mind. You don't want to do that. Just choose one of them. Now look at it with a little bit more detail. I1, let's say that's 5 amps coming in, and it splits up into 3 amps and 2 amps. So the current coming in equals the current going out, or 5 amps is equal to 3 amps plus 2 amps. Mathematically, I might just label that as I1 equals I3 plus I5, which brings up another interesting point about the junctions. The junctions also break up the current somehow, or they recombine the currents. So you have one large current breaking up into two small currents, or you could have two small currents coming together to form one larger current. So every time you have a junction, remember, you're going to increase your number of variables by having more currents to look at.